This morning, meteorologist Vanessa Vedent joining us now. And Vanessa, we're going to have to deal with some strong storms before we get those cold temperatures this weekend. That's right. In the next 24 hours, we will see some showers and thunderstorms, and some of them could be producing those strong wind gusts over 45 miles per hour. But right now, it is looking gorgeous out there in Jensen Beach down into Boca Raton. Lots of sunshine out there, a couple clouds, and warm temperatures in West Palm Beach and even down into Boca because the winds are out of the south and southwest, less than 10 miles per hour, so keeping us very warm in Jupiter down into Boca Raton, temperatures above average, and then much milder and cooler across Vero Beach and in Okeechobee because winds are calm out of the northwest. So a quite difference there um, this afternoon. So right now we're just tracking a couple of light showers way west of 441 in inland of Palm Beach County, but looking clear across the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. Later on this afternoon, temperatures will be in the lower 80s until 4 and 5 o'clock. More clouds will be building in, so we'll see mostly cloudy conditions after 6 and 7 o'clock this evening and those temperatures dropping into the lower 70s. Um, we were under a marginal risk for severe weather, but now according to the models, the severe threat will be on the west coast of Florida, but we're, we could see maybe one or two strong thunderstorms as the front approaches our area in the next 24 hours. So here's updated future track in the next couple of hours. Those temperatures will be in the lower 80s, lower 70s by 10 and 11 o'clock tonight with some showers and a few thunderstorms mainly across Okeechobee and the Treasure Coast area and then the front will be arriving tomorrow morning around five and six o'clock and then after that it is going to get cooler. We're talking about temperatures in the 60s and the lower 70s tomorrow afternoon and the winds will be shifting out of the north and northwest pretty quickly and then by seven to eight o'clock tomorrow night temperatures will be dropping quickly into the 40s and 50s out there and clear skies. Now on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day, expect those temperatures dropping into the 30s and 40s. So Christmas Eve morning, temperatures in the 30s and 40s with feels like temperatures in the 20s and the mid to upper 30s. Then on Christmas Day, temperatures will still be in the 30s, 40s, and feels like temperatures again in the 30s as well. So in the afternoon hours on Christmas Eve, it is going to be really chilly out there. Temperatures will be in the 40s all across our viewing area and even some 50s out there. So we'll struggle to get out of the 50s on Saturday afternoon and even your Sunday afternoon as well. So make sure you have that jacket pretty much all weekend long. So your beach and boating forecast for today and tomorrow. Winds are calm out of the southwest 20 miles per hour and seas up to 5 feet today and tomorrow. Low tide later this afternoon. And your 7-day forecast. Temperatures will be in the 80s. We could hit 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon for PBIA. And then on Saturday and Sunday, very cold, very chilly, temperatures in the 50s. Enjoy it because it is going to get warmer next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s.